Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikhail Tal and Alexander Koblenz. The game was played in 1965. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Koblenz played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, e6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. Knight to c3, defending d6. This is the Scheveningen variation of Sicilian defense. Bishop to e3. Knight to c6. f4. Bishop to e7. And Tal played queen to f3. Bishop to e2 is the most popular move. In the database. In the game we have queen to f3. Koblenz castled kingside. Bishop to e2. Bishop to d7. Tal castled queenside. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes knight. Bishop to c6. It is white to move. What would be your plan in this position? Well, this is pretty much the standard plan, the pawn storm. Queen to a5, g5, attacking the knight. Knight to d7, rook from h to g1. b5, threatening b4 and winning the pawn on a2. Queen to h5 b4. How should white continue? Knight to b1 comes to mind, doesn't it? But then perhaps bishop takes pawn is one of the options for black. Hmm. What did Tal play? Well, he played rook to d3. What is going on? Maybe Koblenz student had too much vodka. <laughs> what do you think? No, he didn't. Okay, so Koblenz happily captured the knight. Bishop takes pawn attacking the queen. It is black to move. How should black continue? Queen takes pawn on a2 is what comes to mind and that is what Koblenz played. But this is not the strongest move. Koblenz missed the strongest move, and that is queen to a4. What is so special about this? Let's have a look. If now rook goes to h3, then bishop takes pawn on e4, defending the pawn on h7. g6 doesn't work anymore because of checkmate. Hmm, okay, then that means that b3 must be played, but then check, and after king to b1, queen to c5 attacking the bishop, and the rook on g1, black is defending. Okay, let's go back to our game. In the game, Black captured the pawn on a2. Rook to h3, threatening checkmate. Bishop takes on e4, defending h7 pawn. g6, cutting communications. Bishop takes pawn on g6. What now? It is white to move. Please pause the video and try to find the killer move that Tal played. Ready? What did you find? This is what Tal played. Did you guess this move? This is check. What is this doing? Well, it is deflecting the bishop from guarding g7 pawn. Bishop takes queen. 
Rook takes pawn on g7 check. King to h8. And there is checkmate in one. Rook from h takes on h7. Checkmate. Awesome, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.